So ladies and gentlemen, today I'm just going to speak about Algeria uh, cultural tourism and I will going to give you some information about Algeria tourism uh, and a cultural tourism valuables. Well this is my first presentation here, I will going to speak about it but uh, in the next presentation also I will going to mention about the tourism destination in the Algeria's, Algeria and I will going to speak about valu valuable and sustainability for the Algeria and we are going to mention more stuff about Algeria so let's start first I would like to give you some information about uh, what is cultural tourism well cultural tourism uh, has developed to become a significant phenomenon uh, in the travel and tourism industry and an essential element of the tourism system. Cultural tourism is also frequently equated as being one of the largest and fastest growing segments of a global tourism. And as you see, it is became a really important uh, segment in the global tourism too. Well, in this case, the cultural tourism, uh, when uh, they will going to start a cultural tourism destination in a one place, they should prepare for for sustainability for long-term plan and that's uh, that's going to affect the global tourism in income as well and cultural tourism can be used as a marketing and develop uh, development tool in a wide range of solutions situations to foster a wide variety of tourism policy goals well let's speak about Algeria where is located Algeria uh, in the north it borders uh, sorry Algeria is the northern Africa it is located in northern Africa it borders Tunisia Libya to the east Niger Mali and Mauritania to the south Morocco and Western Sahara to the west and the Mediterranean Sea to the north it covers a total of uh, around uh, 920 square meters uh, miles which is 2 million uh, 300 thousand square kilometers making it the second largest country in the Africa after Sudan the and and 11th largest country in the world well when we are going to check about the international tourism number of arrivals in Algeria from the 1995 till 2014 and I get even 2015 well when I check here there is a rising till 2012 2013 then there is a coming down it's really fastly from 2013 till 2015 well what is the matter of here because there is there is there was no work for the tourism there is no work for the tourism that's the reason is tourism is going rising 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 but there is nothing for the tourists and immediately it became down what we can do in this case I will going to speak about that but first uh, let's see and we are going to compare with other countries and Algeria is where it's located as you see, when you compare it with Egypt, Tunisia, and Morocco, uh, the tourist arrivals, as you see, the number one is Egypt, but Egypt also became down. The Morocco, Tunisia, and Algeria, as you see, there is nothing down. It is just over here, just down. You see the small color? And this is the Algeria by the tourist arrivals. Well, when you see that Algeria is the bigger than the three countries, and there is a more valuable stuff in Algeria, but the lack of advertisement and the lack of investment, it makes Algeria not that much attractive for the tourism. And of course, the political issues also affect uh, for the tourism development as well. Algeria cultural tourism, as a definition of them, Algeria is known for its richness and cultural diversity on re uh, realizes that the natural and cultural heritage products much in demand by the tourists 
who travel to Algeria and they realize that are much more attractive than other tourism destination well if the tourists think like that why there is none work like Algerian people they know of course when the tourists come to this country they love this country they fall in love with this country well when they see this stuff they have to have like some investment about the tourism as well and the people wants to see this country this beautiful country uh, as a tourist destination tourism destination as well and I believe that one day Algeria will become really important tourism destination the cultural history of Algeria is formed by the Berbers the Roman Empire the Ottoman Empire the Arab Muslim civilization and the French culture as you see there is a lot of ancient uh, history over there and there is a uh, cities which is you can see in the different culture one example for example when you go to when you go to Algiers uh, in the capital city of Algeria you are going to see a lot of French in infrastructure there's a lot of French buildings around and when you see there you are going to feel like am I in the Venice <laughs> you are going to see a lot of uh, Ottoman uh, Ottoman culture buildings Roman from the Roman Empire some historical buildings and this Berbers going you will going to see the cultural uh, cultural uh, cultural act from these people as well and the people they didn't lose their culture they are living uh, day by day well when we are checking the cultural resources and we will need to compare as Algeria well when we are speaking about the cultural industries as as you see film video sound publishing printing art dealers theater companies museum and art gallery cinemas libraries and archive, uh, archives design service interactive digital media antique school well this when you when you speak about this cultural industries which one of them algeria have to ask which one of them I get which one of them I organize and which one of them I really have and with a system well sometimes a place has a those all but the management the management is really important when you have those alls and the management and you don't have any plans for to to bring those to the level of the surf it doesn't make sense well for me it's my opinion by the way you can also write your opinion every people who is going to listen this and uh, if you are going to have like uh, film videos museum and art galleries cinemas design you have to care about that you have to follow you have to see what is happening over there and then community cultural organization and this is also one of the management part as well you have to have the management for this if you don't have management how you get a how you get a, um, handle it it is really uh, it's really difficult to handle without management team well historical manic uh, multicultural places multicultural organization this is going to give really a lot of uh, income to this area if you have cultural facilities as art centers I see I don't say that you don't have uh, I, I don't say that Algeria doesn't have uh, so much cultural facilities and such like that of course Algeria has a uh, cultural facilities and many stuff I'm just speaking about how to make them more more valuable and the museums, theaters, dinner theaters, art gallery studios, community centers, libraries, achievements just to give the advertisement in the best way this all can be worked very nicely and when you see the cultural heritage Algeria is a one of the best cultural heritage ever I see heritage buildings but public art, local monuments, 
heritage sites, palaces, archaeological sites, cemeteries. This is the really important part, cultural heritage part. Algeria has to care about this cultural heritage, have to uh, redesign, have to mm, make clean for these buildings looking from outside when i'm looking from outside the buildings are looking uh, dirty why they don't have the system which is they can design well well it can be just with the open a company to to clean these walls to clean these architectures this is going to bring more income for the future i believe that will be work in soon Festival events, yes, this is the also important place and the people in Algeria when I'm checking they love football, all of them from 7 till 70, every people they love footballs, festivals and events, they might have more effective uh, festival and events for the local people as well and when this local people are going to see this also can become a for the international people as well and the inv invitation for outside of the country as well well let's see national culture in algeria who is hosted hosted says that it's defines of uh, this uh, national culture of algeria defines the national culture as a collective programming of the mind that this distinguish members of one society from another. Hosfit identified four factors in which culture of country is different. The four factors are power distance, collectivism in the Volusian, masculinity, femininity, uncertainty, evidence. So there is uh, information about those, which is uh, small power distance, large power distance, what we need, collectivist, individualist, feminine. This is really important for the management team. And when you are going to read those, you are going to see which part is not in exactly in Algeria. I will going to speak about Algerian national culture a bit. Uh, by the way, maybe I have some mistakes, which from the information I was just uh, doing my best to see the updating uh, information about uh, the cultural tourism in Algeria. And also from my experiences when I travel to Algeria, I just uh, mentioned some parts well, uh, if I have any mistakes, I'm really sorry, I apologize for that. And also you can write as a comment or you can uh, write me in email uh, and I will going to check where I am uh, not right. Well, Algerian national culture chart is not available in hospital words. Result of this study indicated that the cultural dimension scores are poverty stains from the 10 Algeria get 5.36. Collectivism from the 10th, Algeria gets 12, 7.12. Uncertainty evidence, Algeria from 10, she gets 8.6. The Algerian national cultural dimension are medium power distant, high collectivism, and high uncertainty evidence. Collectivism, what is collectivism? Relationship between the employer and employee is Per, uh, perceive it in moral terms like a family link this is really important there is nothing like that Algeria between employers and uh, between the boss there is a huge level actually about the tourism when there is employees and there is a manager the act from the manager to the employee has to be with respect and when you make the employees happy, also the people, the tourists, the income of that place will be more effective. Management is the management of the groups. It's not management for the one person. Group management is really much important about the collectivism. 
and the that's the reason collectivism gets 7.12 and when you speak about the power of these things this is about hierarchy in organization reflex and extension this is a uh, about more uh, the ideal boss of uh, is uh, sorry you know this is about more politics if the politics give the information enough if the politics give uh, what to say give give chance to people to invest for that and educate uh, people for the tourism and this will be more valuable for the future tourism as well let's see <laughs> There are many culture, uh, different cultures in Algeria. Some of them live their cultures in the cities more modernly, while others live their culture in the rural areas as it is. Inhabitants in cities often show their culture assessed in television channels to present their culture. People living in rural areas also welcome tourists to see their culture in the region as they live their culture as it is and we were going to see some pictures from the Algerian culture as you see some of people are cooking in the desert and you see the dressing you see the shawls you see the man on the camel traveling called the Sahara with the camel and you see the tattoos on the old woman you see Hana on the hand of lady and you see ladies are playing instruments and um, there is also daily life when you see it's not huge differences between the Europe as well well there is a video that which is I would like to show you and sorry by the way I like Algeria really. Well, Algeria Tourism Nets. What's Algeria Tourism Nets? Increases the value of the destination, Algeria, in order to strengthen tourist in, uh, attraction and competitiveness. Develops tourism centers and the towns by uh, by regionalization investment. Display a tourism quality plan. This is really important. We have to display the tourism quality plan promotes the coherence in actions by 
strengthening uh, the tourism uh, chain and putting in the place public and private partnership defines and implements an operational financing plan in order to support tourism activities and properly developers and attract the important investors and the tour operators to the uh, region this is the really important stuff and the government uh, I think they have already this uh, uh, plan which is uh, they have uh, some uh, uh, some projects for the long-term plan as uh, French also they have a long-term plan uh, for the tourism development in Algeria which is that and long-term plan is uh, by national national operation this will be more effective if by the national operations because uh, the national op uh, national operations can give more uh, better options for the for the uh, for the local people and for the tourism development, but the long term plan is really important in this case for the sustainability. And there is a seven important tourist zone in Algeria. I will going to speak about it. The tourist pole of excellence northeast. This is the Skigda, Guelma, Naba, Al Tarf, Sok Ahras, and Tabassa is characterized by more than 300 km of coastline and 874,000 hectares of locomotive for tourism development in a regional domin dominance in beach and containing strong potential for the development of mountain, mountain tourism and cultural tourism for the tourist sex to see people who live in mountainous zone. The tourist pole of excellence north center, which is Algiers, Baza, Blida, Bumedes, Chlef, Aindafla, Mada, Boira, Tizwizu, at Bijaya. And Bijaya, let's say. is characterized by its central position and the Mediterranean coastline, spread over 615 km. 51% of the Algerian coast. It is served by developed basic infrastructure and includes exceptional amenities nationally and internationally. A variety of services to centers of activity and industries. Potentials that forward a strong cultural attractiveness. This region is really valuable for the future tourism development and right now uh, I think there w uh, I don't think actually right now there is some project which is to develop this place and uh, they are really working hard to develop this region uh, for the future tourism. The tourist pole of excellent northwest Wahran, Ain Tumushan, Tlemcen, Mostanagam, Mascara, Sidi Blabbas this is the, by the way the pronouncing it is just Arabic <laughs> of Algeria how they say it. I was traveling mostly all the coast area in Algeria but I wish to see the Sahara in the next in the next years maybe we will going to bring the Algeria one of the most important tourism destination I believe that <laughs> Well, due to this extremely strategic location situated less than two hours from the main tourist source market, the European Europe, which is Spain, just 200 kilometers, so which means that there would be feature more uh, boats and uh, more, uh, sorry, there will be more transportation between the Spain and to Algeria if the people from Europe interested to come to Algeria with the more in the advertisement to Algeria might attract the people from the Europe to Africa. This pole uh, of 300, uh, sorry, 35,000 km square kilometers is served by basic developed infrastructure and includes equipment quite significant of national and international level, mm -hmm. services, a dense industry, a rich and variety potential that favor it as a strong attractiveness an occupation not studied of some tourist sites. The tourist pole of excellent sites, 
southeast, Vardia, Piscra, at Elwat, and Elwat, covers an area of about 160,000 square kilometers and has population estimated about 1.5 million inhabitants. Furthermore, with the Guardia is a major center and gateway to the desert. The tourist pole of excellent southwest, Adrar Bechar, covers an area of about 603,000 kilometers square. Wow. Toward the quarter, this is a big place. It's a center of global heritage with a dynamic new space to cons consil consolidate an emer emerging and new area. This is a border zone. Tourist center of excellent deep south, Tassili Niger. It's located primarily in the region of Belize, which covers an area of approximately 284 85,000 km square. It is natural, cultural and archaeological world that represent three major assessed my love feature development. The wide open space for of this pole of excellence contain shelters, cave paintings of a great historical value. These cultural tre uh, trees are protected thanks to the presence of the national par parks which is Tassili National Park, classified at World Heritage by UNESCO in 1981. And the tourist pole of excellent Big Sad, Agahar, covers an area of approximately 456,000 km square of territory. This pole is built around uh, Taman Reset by the immensity of the territory and the cultural and natural treasures uh, tre tre it contains and might be considered as a strategic center of high value tourism development in a region. The archaeological natural cultural presence in the Agahar is likely to be exploited not only for tourism but also within an economic and social frame. Yeah, when we speak about the uh, world heritage sites in Algeria, there is some which is Algerian city, Mizab, Djalma, Tassili, Niger, Tassili, and Niger, Timgat, Beni Hamad Fort, Tadrat, Akakus, and Tiplasa. Of course, there is a more valuable stuff for the UNESCO World Heritage List, but uh, have to be discovered by the other people, by the old people and international people as well. Sauk Ahra city a national plan to promote cultural tourism uh, dictated by the potential of, uh, of the several archaeological sites existing in Algeria will be soon elaborated in coordination with the tourism ministry. That's the new plan. That's the new plan will, will which work soon. Well, if I speak about my analysis, <laughs> cultural tourism has a spe special place in Algeria because uh, of its past civilization, as Algeria has been considered the land of ancient history, heritage, and culture. This is really important for the future tourism. They have already valuable staff to promote the tourism sector. And the historical and archaeological monuments continue to be the biggest drop in the attracting international and national tourism. As I mentioned, the government in Algeria have to set up with the Ministry of Tourism and Culture to boost cultural tourism in Algeria. And uh, this uh, presentation was about the cultural tourism. That's the reason I write the cultural tourism. Normally, all the global tourism in Algeria. The Ministry of Culture in Algeria is working uh, in this regard for the implementation of a national cultural policy to change the archaeological sites and make them major cultural and tourist spots. This is a new 
plan and this is a new uh, this is a nice news likely to contribute the, uh, to the development of the provinces and the country this is a nice news cultural attraction in Algeria cultural attraction in Algeria history and archaeology historical and archaeological monuments might be the biggest draw in attracting international and national tourists music the music of Algeria includes multiple variety of folk, pop, classical music and shabi. Dance. Dance in Algeria covers a wide range of dance and dance theater forms, from the ancient classical or temple dance to folk and modern styles. Food and in a daily life. This is really delicious food which is you must travel in Algeria. Uh, the national dish of Algeria is cows, uh, cows, cows, couscous. <laughs> Sorry, couscous steamed uh, sam uh, samolina with uh, with served with a lamb or chicken, cooked vegetables and gravy. This is so basic to the Algeria diet that that it is named in Arabic term, translate as a food common common for uh, flavoring include onions, drippings. This is the, like really important part to see in Algeria you will not be hungry and you will be full over that commercial activities the center of commercial life in Algeria is the souk large open air markets where the farmers and craft sells by the way commercial activity I mean you will going to see a lot of natural foods without hormones so this when you eat that I'm hungry already <laughs> Sorry, by the way. Well, you were going to see a lot of valuable stuff over there, believe me. And religion, Islam is the official religion in the Algeria and is part, uh, practiced by the majority of the country inhabitants. Islam give, uh, gives Algeria its cultural and social identity and its principles govern much of the nation's ethnic and behaviors. Will, uh, whilst Islam is the dominant region in Algeria, there are small numbers of Christians, Jewish, atheists, and others. And of course, there is a freedom of religion. Clothing, traditional clothing in Algeria, greatly varies across the different parts of the country, and it is influenced immensely by local culture, geograph uh, geography, and climate. Of course, you will going to see a lot of modern dresses, dresses in the cities as well. Environmental effect present uh, preservation of a national heritage and environment tourism helps preserve several places which are of historical importance by declaring them as a heritage site. For instance, the coastal area and Sahara would be decayed and destroyed if the efforts will not be taken by the tourism development, tourism management, tourism ministry, all of them. <laughs> Depletion of local resources. Tourism can create a great pressure of on local uh, resources like energy, food and other raw materials that might already be in short supply. Cultural effect. Source of foreign and change here earnings. Tourism is an important source of foreign and uh, exchange earning in Algeria. Social and cultural change. Tourism sometimes led to the destruction of a social fabric of a community. The more tourists coming into the into a place, the more perceived risk of that place losing its identity. That's why before to develop a place as a tourist destination should be well organized and analyze the risk. This is really important when the tourists are much going in the place more than more than uh, more than number of arrival. 
I mean, that place will not be enough to serve that tourist and then a lot of problems can bring to that place. This is really important. Well, destination development, service and facilities, people and place, attractions, informations, people, which is tourist populations, transportation and communication. This is all the information about the develop a destination. If you don't have this that destination, it is really hard to develop it as a tourism destination. Well, conclusion. For all foreign and foreign tourists, any visit to Algeria is a form of cultural tourism. There are however those with the more explicit interest in a monumental heritage, the coastline, the religion, religious heritage, the natural heritage, traditional arts and crafts, music and dance, and those help in formulation it is scope. The tourism industry in Algeria is growing and it has a vast potential for generating employment and earning a large amount of foreign and change besides giving a flip to the country overall economic and social development there is a, some suggestion from me as the tourism industry growing in algeria should focus more and more on the promotion of sustainable tourism many of old monuments in algeria are likely lost primary resources this can be restored to review rich art and culture to become sites of a tourist attractions education and training of a local population in the service quality and customer service education and training in a cultural areas this is really important brand market and promote the city it is site events tourism services airport rail and bus services and facilities are basically mm, roads basically transportation this is also important Planning, management, evolutions are really important for development. Focus on high quality support services, access our technicity and a variety of historical roads. Thank you so much for your listening. I hope uh, you like uh, the information which is I give you. And sorry by the way for my English. I'm not. Uh, I'm not. I'm not. Uh, proper English speaker uh, not from England <laughs> well I hope you like this information which is I give you and uh, if I had uh, something wrong with my pronunciations I'm really apologizing for them uh, for that and I hope uh, you would like to see my next presentations if you would like to uh, see my next presentation and follow this and uh, I will kindly ask you to be a member of my YouTube channel and uh, in case of any question you have or in case of you would like to remind me something just don't hesitate to write me and I wish you a good day and uh, here I will going to write my, my email this is my email just a minute my email a is small and if you want to write any message you can reach me with this email and thank you so much for your listening have a good day bye bye